Before we get started with today's podcast, we'd like to ask returning listeners to leave us a rating or review on your favorite podcast platform, iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And if you really enjoy it, share a link to this podcast with friends or family who would enjoy hearing our weekly discussions about basketball and basketball culture. Now, on to the show. Yeah, this is amazing. When Michigan can keep this game to a 19-foot, 9-inch game inside that three-point line, it's all there. Welcome to the 199 podcast. We're starting a new series today called 199 School Spirit. We're starting with a with a big one, LSU. We'll be discussing the upcoming releases from 199 related to the LSU Tigers. This is the first in the series of podcasts on teams and schools associated with the 199 releases. We're going to go behind the design and provide loyal customers and fans with hardwood history behind the apparel. We believe that basketball clothing just looks cool, but basketball is about being part of a community and culture. Part of any culture is knowing the storied history. So we're going to start with what we call the rundown. Uh, I'll I'll hit uh, up uh, Barnett to talk a little bit about this, to know what was behind picking the teams and the designs that went into these releases. So we're going to start with uh, LSU 84, and you can introduce Bry Vogel too. Yeah, man. I'm muted. God, my already freezing me out. <laughs> Jeez, I'm prepared. Is what I'm, I'm doing. Yeah. So this has been a, this has been a long time coming, right? We we've yeah. had this idea in the back of our minds for forever. Forever. Um, and for the the people out there that don't know, we we just recently went full time with 99. Um, and in doing so, we were able to get our designer on full time, and that is Mr. Matthew Bravogel. What's going on? Well, what's a, what's your official title? Because uh, I got some blowback when I what I, what I call what did I call you? Ninety nine's photographer. photographer. Well, yeah. You, you got you got a step correct in here now, Meyer. <laughs> mm. uh, Designer uh, does sound better. Yeah, art director. Art director. But you know, I do a little bit of everything. You do. Yeah. Currently, videographer. Uh, sure. A little bit of everything. A little photography. So, but this Pod, is podcast. This is not Matt's host. first first appearance on the podcast. We had our our. Uh, hotel rendezvous. Oh, that's oh, right. At yeah. the end of uh, the York end trip. of the New York trip, man, that making history there. That was that was wild. Right? I want to. I, I need to go back and listen to because we did the one with Aaron. You did the one with Aaron before we left in his kitchen. Yeah, and then we did a series of them when we were in New York, and then it was just me and Bravo were the last men standing of our crew, and then we did like a recap. Flying home. That was, flying home during a weird time and then, in and this, then we, the nation's history. Yeah, man. Then we flew home. Yeah. How many steps did we get in that day, that last day <laughs> in New York, though? Uh, 15,000, maybe, something crazy <laughs> was, like that. Maybe I, more. It might have been more than that. We had a good time, though. <laughs> so, yeah, what's up? We're going to talk okay. some LSU, man. So, yeah, let's just run through. So, you've got these different teams that you picked out, and I'm going to start with the 86 Final Four shorts, and we've got we've got them in here, too, so it's yeah, going to be awesome. Yeah, man. We're, we're going to try. We'll see if we actually get get this up on YouTube, but uh, we're, we are recording some videos, so new, something new for us, too. Well, you so haven't seen them yet. I know. I haven't even you seen haven't them yet. Seen them. No, they so, are, sir. I, <laughs> and I was, I was super pumped about this design, and you can tell people why. I was that that uh, that t- dunking tiger is. All, I'm all about that. Yeah, so the I dun- like an animal with a with a basketball. For action. sure. If you if you follow 99 or know anything about us or or look at our designs, anytime we can get a mascot with a basketball in his hand. <laughs> That's like right up our house. I picked I picked him out of the Pistol Pete uh, Sports <laughs> Illustrated uh, issue even last week. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. You, you did find that thing. I got hired officially. Where do you think that? By the way, I'm still waiting for my paycheck. Yeah, <laughs> so are we. Um, <laughs> where Where do you think that poster is that you found in that Sports Illustrated? I don't where know. do you think that I thing hope is it's still right on, now? I hope it's still hanging in the sport the athletic offices somewhere. Man, I'd love not. to have my hands on that. Yeah, you should call them. I bet it's in a storage locker somewhere. Probably. It, it looks like to, a legitimate painting. Next like to Glenn, somebody did it, like a like one of one. Yeah. It's next to Glenn Robinson's Player of the Year trophy. <laughs> I can't wait till Bravo gets into painting down here and starts painting <laughs> some one of ones. 
<laughs> worse. Yeah, so no, LSU is... Uh, Why 86? Well, so. we're, let me talk a little bit about LSU okay. just in first. Like, we're super, super pumped to get LSU. Um, big thing for us was getting into the SEC. And so LSU is our first SEC school, and I think it's a great one to, um, to start with because uh, they have a sneaky, sneaky good history when you go back. So you're going back through the likes of uh, Bob Pettit, Pistol Pete, uh, the Dell Brown era, obviously Shaq, Chris Jackson, who eventually becomes Mahmoud Abdul Raouf. Uh, you get the Tyrus Thomas, Big Baby Davis, um, the Final Four teams. You get uh, Ben Simmons, as you know, recently. Um, so like it, it's a wild LSU sneaky. Like I know. we talked about blue bloods, uh, they're, they're kind of sneaky with their like best players ever. I know they don't have maybe the team success that you might picture, but as far as like individual players, they've got some unbelievable. Like if talent. you put together a all time starting five from LSU, probably it, take it, it over. It's anybody. up there. It is up there. Why have so, we not done that? We should do all, have we done all time starting five? There's a, there's a, there's a Instagram account that's doing it. Is it, okay. uh, it's one that I follow. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but they've been doing it for every school. It's been really interesting. Pretty solid. Yeah. But LSU, you can stack up against anybody. Um, reason I chose 86, uh, obviously I love the dunking tiger, the purple too. And then that striping on there. Um, whereas like the shack shorts that we'll, we'll get into are right. just plain colors. And then they throw the tiger on there. Yeah. This had a little bit more into it in, uh, a little more break in the action. You know, there's, there's a heavy purple, which is dope. And then, uh, it goes into that yellow kind of piping going down the, or striping going down the side with some piping too. So, um, but so the, the look of the short was dope, but then the story is good too. Yeah. So the number 11 seed, they were like the Cinderella of all Cinderella's before George Crazy. Mason came along basically. Yeah. Um, and, uh, so it was cool. I wanted to dive in. I wanted to learn their story a little bit. So that was the, that was the 86 though. You know, I had to get some stats on them too. Average years of experience for this team, 1.2 years. So not very long together. They're pretty, pretty uh, young together tied with the lowest seed ever. You mentioned that the team had a lot of, com- lot in common with this year. Uh, they had a, a big outbreak of chicken pox on the team that forced the whole team to quarantine at one point. And they just had such a weird rash of like injuries and strangeness. They had like three, seven footers at the end of, at the beginning of the year didn't have any of them and another guy this was uh, i'd never heard of this before he was ruled academically ineligible because he took few, too few credit hours in his uh major so he had like enough credit hours but i guess there was some rule that you had to have enough in your major area and because he didn't have enough in that specific area he was ineligible that's wild yeah. and then remember all the prop 48 stuff yeah. and all that crap oh, like people man. don't even remember that stuff anymore we're gonna get into that later i got i got that as a note well, i also remember the 87 team because i love you know i've i've always professed my love for i use 87 team yeah. as my all-time favorite as you can see there's a shirtless steve alford poster <laughs> over there um but uh this LSU team, this 86 Final Four team, almost beats IU's 87 team. Really? I did not know that. Nikita Wilson misses a fadeaway off the front of the rim at the buzzer or in Cincinnati or they go. Man, that's a good that's a good yeah. call out right and So there. like during that whole game I always remember they they talk like is can Dale Brown do it again? Can cuz they were like a 10 seed hmm. or something. They they were a low seed again. Weird. Um and so I remember that. So th- I don't know. I wanted to kind of go back in nice. and dig in the 86 and it. then and then the 92 stuff is shit. Well, ha- well hang on. I want to hear Bri Vogel, so we want to hear about some of the design behind this because I do love, like you mentioned, the purple and just there's something different about seeing the design on this one. So I'm curious, like, where do you start? Where do you start with these? Because when they come out, it looks, you know, just like anything that's awesome. It comes out looking easy, like it, you could have just uh, slapped it together and and it comes out like this. I've but been watching it for a couple of weeks. It, uh-huh. it all is really easy. <laughs> it's the easiest shit in the world. Easy money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we get excited when we get. Um, to launch a new school that just has a colorway that isn't super common. So yeah, first that and foremost, different. the purple and yellow gold is awesome. That's just going to stand out amongst all the other. There's a lot of Under, navy underrated there, so. uh, color combination. Yeah, I we we got it a little flaggers. bit with Washington, but Washington uh-huh. was a little bit more gold too. Yeah. Yep. So. And so, uh, you know, we start there. I go to the school's um, brand guidelines and just make sure um, I know what colors they use. And then um, we get... Uh, we lucked out on this one. Um, LSU had a really nice uh, version uh, of of this Dunking Tiger logo that we used nice. on these shorts. Um, that and then we just find as much 
old photography uh, as we can of games and players on the internet. And I use that as reference to scale the stripe down the side and the side ah. of size of the logo on the side. And uh, we just zoom in tight and, you know, do get, print out, tape yeah. them on EJ. I do. I, I, I mean, it's, under, it out, it's underrated to make it like cut look, it out. look cool on a person too. Cause that's the whole point of it. Well, yeah. yeah. Cause the, the sizing is the hardest part yeah. of the logos. And then with mm-hmm. the pockets too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the pockets can cut into the design, which they don't on any of our LSU pairs, Love it. which is awesome. Yeah. And, and you know, there's always the thing and we're in 86, their shorts are probably about six <laughs> inch shorter than what we're using <laughs> oh now. God. So it's, that's hilarious that you say that. Or, I, know, or where, I, know, I know where he's going, or where with your this. shorts will be in three years. It, who knows? It's interesting. Yeah. Well, no, you, what were you thinking? Well, it's interesting because we sit there and we just stare at these shorts and we're like, is that in the middle of the short <laughs> or is that at the bottom of the short? Yeah, yeah. Because really it's just on the short. Yeah. You're kind of having to make it up during that go. time period, yeah. you know? So it's, it's, uh, it's weird. Like even those Jordan 82 UNC shorts that everybody's familiar oh my with, gosh, yeah. the remakes of those are down by the, the cut. But right. if you look at like pictures of him, They're like sitting I on think his hip, it's right? probably more in the middle. Yeah. But if we were to do that in the middle, it would look off because the reprints and the reproductions of them since then right. have trained everybody to think that they're down mm-hmm. at the bottom. Well, just how you wear your shorts, too. And then yeah. what, what Matt does, which is, like, Matt's not near the hoops head that we are, yeah. right? Um, he loves basketball, and he, he's knowledgeable. He knows a lot of that stuff, but it's 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 not, like, the staple of life like it is for us. <laughs> um, he's a little bit, what I'm saying is he has a little more balance in his life than we do. <laughs> um, but... Uh, no, it he, it's <laughs> funny to sit and watch him because because we're very alike. It, we're very different in a lot of ways, but we're very alike in this way. We'll find like LSU, for instance, has and he was saying this, and that's what maybe hit on it. LSU has that file in their vault licensing. Yeah, so we had access to that, but then when we find pictures of the actual shorts, there's these like slight variations. So today he's working on Pit ninety six shorts. There's a little spoiler for you. Uh, uh, and he, he's working on those. And there's how many variations of, of the, the cat? I've seen four. Four variations oh, wow. of this one logo that's on the side of their shorts that we're trying to get, right? Yeah. So then we sit there and we're like. Which one? Which Pitt one has is okayed it? one of them, but we're like, but, but. What about this over here? This guy was the one that was actually. And it's like one fingernail is different. I was going to say, like how detailed are you yeah. getting? Are you like looking at whisker Very, placement? Yes. Very, <laughs> as detailed as I can get. So I love that. Yeah, I take very much pride in making these things as authentic as the schools That's or awesome. the uh, data that we can get will, will allow possible. And so to be honest, this tiger that's on these shorts is not the exact tiger that I would like to use. He's very close, yeah. uh, but there's just not good enough imagery and the logos aren't available. I just know that the main difference is this has a basketball hoop on it. Whereas the one, if you look at the photos of the ones that they were wearing, that basketball hoop's not on there. Mm. And the the photos of that one that they were wearing just don't exist wow. that we have access to. And so this is shit that like n- our customers or like you would never pick up on. No. You would never know. Like you, you're going to see I love short, it though. This is what, and you're this gonna is be what like, I like. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I want to do the same yeah. and why I want to have yeah. him on. And, and we do the best we possibly can to get the shorts as authentic as we can. Not minus materials, obviously sure. on our, uh, materials to make them, you know, more of a co- comfortable wearable and, short and type. being mindful of the school and what the school logos yeah. they want you to use and stuff like no that. Doubt. Like yeah. the, the short does not suffer because uh-huh. their, their logo was just a slight, a slightly different, you know, tiger or whatever. But but it's it's funny because we're working full time, so we're we're right next to each other. You can see our offices in there, and so we're backed up to each other every every day. And I didn't really know that Matt was that detailed, <laughs> you know, coming into. It. I mean, we we had talked, but you have to remember we were all doing this on a, and a, after yeah. hours, so after hours with young families right. too that we were taking care of and other jobs. So up Imagine. until now, we we just couldn't spend time talking about the small details. It would just go, 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 go. Right. And now it's like I see him struggling letting go of like a minute detail. Like in the, you're like in the music studio building like yeah. a beat. And then, well, then, you and know, eventually I don't have to. We got to release like, it. And I got to look 
look over at Josh and be like, is this good? And be like, yes, of course it's good. No one will even notice that. Move on, you know, so. <laughs> which brings oh, us gosh. back to the LSU shorts, which are dope. They're good. Yeah. They're <laughs> real good. They're so good. All right, ni- 92, before we t- uh, do the 92, we're going to do a little uh, uh, break and ta- listen to a clip from Shaq uh, talking about Dale, Daddy Dale Brown, which, Daddy I, which, Dale. I, which I love. Uh, and then we'll get into that 92 team a little bit. If there was one person... If God said, uh, I need somebody to run the world, who, 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 who? Be Dale Brown. And last but not least, Daddy Dale Brown. <clears throat> My father came in the house one day and I was sitting on the couch, feet stinking, and he just came and threw the paper. Get your ass up, there's a college coach up there. You might get a scholarship. Come listen to him talk. I was 6'9", 6'10", couldn't play, definitely wasn't going to college. So I, I get up there, but before I go up there, I'm like, you know what, I'm talking to a college coach. Let me, let me go in this dictionary and pull out a big word so I seem smart. <laughs> so the word I cho- chose was extremities. <laughs> so Coach Brown is, is, is talking and you know, he's, he gets done with the speech and I go up to him, I say, coach, Hi, my name is Shaquille O'Neal, sir. Can you send me a program to strengthen my lower extremities? <laughs> and Coach Brown looked at me and he said, sure, how long you been in, in, in the Army, soldier? I said, I'm not in the Army, I'm, I'm only 13. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's your father? I was like, he's in the sauna. I want to offer you a scholarship right now. And he, he offered me a scholarship on that day. Coach, thank you. Um, Shaq, great storyteller. I, I absolutely, and I, I'm regretting immediately uh, one of Barnett's picks, uh, first pick I think ever that that you did in the dog best college. I know, underrated. He's just uh, I've I th- I've grown to appreciate uh, Shaq even more since then. Well, we went yeah. back and watched uh, the '99 classic uh, with the the LMU LSU, yep. and we forgot how skinny and athletic and what a freak of nature that dude was. Yep, he could have played. He would have adapted to today's game. Would have been amazing. Yeah, no doubt. So, so tell me about the this ninety two team then. Well, yeah. So the ninety two was a no brainer because you have to get we had to capture Shaq. So like when I think of LSU, I think of Pistol Pete and I think of Shaq yep. and Chris Jackson. Honestly, I think of Chris Jackson too and Dale Brown. Um, yep. Those are kind of the four for me. Bob Pettit's a long time before us, but I know he's right. you know probably a top fifty player of all time. Definitely. But, um, so I wanted to to just be able to capture them. One of the things that that we try to do here is tell the stories. Um, and capture the best stories from each school to tell. Uh, but Shaq in and of himself is the story. Mm-hmm. So like when I go and I write those hardwood history uh, blurbs for our website and our product, right? that thing just morphed into this Shaq. Here was his career at LSU. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? So it wasn't because the, the team got beat by uh, – our beloved Indiana Hoosiers. <laughs> uh-huh. I feel like a lot of L. Okay, so I feel like There's a lot of intersections, LSU. right? I know, yeah. and it was the Dale Brown Bob Knight rivalry. Yep. That's why they don't like each other. Because believe it. Every time that they played each other, it was high stakes. Yeah, there was a lot on the line, um, which is super interesting that they intersected that that often. But uh, yeah, it, it, we had to capture Shaq, and then in that you capture. Chris Jackson too. Um, yeah, I got I've got some stuff about him, but I want to hear what your take is about him because he he is he, his freshman season especially like this the that, that uh, SI article that you guys had down here. So this is one of the things I love about coming down here is that you guys all have all this like source material that Brian Vogel and are you? We have a work- hard time hanging shit on our walls. <laughs> yeah, so. I know. Are you working with him like when you guys are looking stuff up to have for these photo shoots or what do you what are you guys doing like looking stuff up a little up? bit a little bit. Because I lo- I love that. So I look through that. All right, here's what I got on Jackson. I'm gonna steal it. Steal it. Yeah, go you, ahead. You can come back. No, go ahead. So I love the uh, Louisiana Prop 48. They call them the team in general. Too young, too short, too Prop 48. Which man, again, little uh, slightly racist. Yep. <laughs> Honestly, well, so, the, that was the whole problem with I the know. Prop 48 yeah. rule was they were basically saying like this is yep this is holding young black african Amer- or african american males down got to, even got a stat on that for you prop 48 86.8% black right right which Not some that. of that is the sport that you're 
playing in, yeah. um, too, in, in the, the, the type Not of just uh, player it, that but is it, coming in. Yeah. yeah, the skillful players and stuff. But, like, Big Dog was a Prop Did, 48. People forget that. Yeah, it didn't seem like it was doing, what, you know, helping kids out. It didn't make any sense. Right. And, and luckily they did away with it. Yeah. Like, it, it was bullshit, basically. But uh, Alonzo Mourning uh, calls uh, Chris Jackson. He says, I never knew which way he was going. He's the best shooter in the country. Pretty solid uh, praise there. Uh, Dale Brown had an awesome quote. He said, uh, at the end of that Georgetown uh, game, which they won against Morning, he said, I wanted Chris to take the last shot. He gets trapped, but Brown continues. I knew he'd get out of the track trap. They locked up Houdini, and he got out and did, did his dance. He skates. He evaporates. It's like Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shaq. Is, Shazam. Shazam. I know. Did he get that from Dale Brown? Man. <laughs> man. That is funny. Yeah. So the, the, slippery, the, man. There was one more in there. Uh, they called him the evolutionary Pete Maravich. Not real sure, but I like the connection. Well, that was the that was the SI yeah. cover. And then uh, there's a story in there about a girl that called the New Orleans hotline. A uh, little girl said she was running away from home to watch watch him play and they told her that if she went back home he hit a game winner for her, for her he did the next game so she oh, so, okay so that's that right there is the pistol pete side of it right that's like those old like Hot fables shot. those old like legends Crazy, right? of that's that we don't have that shit anymore he man. had some weird uh, too just personal stuff that he overcame uh estranged from his mom she wanted him didn't want him to go to lsu he really wanted to and she pushed him to, towards other schools even like calling some other schools and saying that he was going to go there uh and interesting and, i didn't know any of that yeah and then he's got that the tourette syndrome that he overcame mm -hmm. and um, then uh converts to islam yeah and what's interesting in today's uh world and all the colin kaepernick stuff Mahmoud Abdul-Rauf doesn't get brought up that much. No, I've, I've no. seen a couple things on him yeah. on social media when they've been talking about the the stand and people kneeling for the anthem and stuff. Yeah. And and I remember that. Yeah, like I rem sit, When I was growing up, I remember that being a really big yeah. deal, and that was like a really big news story. Well, his thing is he would sit and pray, right? Yep, he yeah. would sit and pray, or yeah. he'd face the other direction, yes. too. I'm not sure if he sat, but he would face the Sometimes other direction and pray. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, you know, and that's in 90... I don't even know. Three? Yeah. 94? I know. Long time ago. It's a long time ago. And that's a different, that's a different America too. Yep. So, um, his, his career it, for sure was cut short. Like he was, he would fit in today's NBA real well. He's balling in the big three. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean I've you've seen, seen him in the big three. He's an old ass man out there. Just giving people the, some, right? They're giving buckets <laughs> I out can there. Shoot. And what's crazy too is it seems like the um the the Tourette's or whatever is is way more controlled, yeah. Um, in that big three, like I, you know, I don't know, like maybe better it's medication funny because now of the medication, too. exactly, yeah. and the evolution yeah. and the technology and stuff that goes into that. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, covering okay. All bases, yeah. Question two about this. This is for both of you guys. So Dale Brown also said uh, he always felt that he was over coaching him and he needed to do less with him. Do you think that's something that still happens with players? I I, I just am curious what you guys think. I have major, major thoughts on that, but th that's like a whole different pot. All right. Pot. Like that's a whole nother I'll, pot. I'll leave it out there. Micromanaging, we'll it. It, but you see it in business. Yeah. It's micromanaging over macro managing, right? Like right. it's, it's, it's being able to step away and let players play or being able to step away and let workers work right? and do it for you. Or do you feel so much pressure um, that you want, and you're so much of a control freak that you want control of every single aspect. So you're, you're calling to play every single time I'm huddled over by Vogel's shoulder, watching him design every element <laughs> or something. You know what I mean? Like, Sorry, Matt. You, I, I'm not, no. but I'm saying no, no, that, that's, no, the, no, that's no. my nightmare. Yeah, no, that, no, yeah. it is a nightmare. It's like sometimes he thinks I'm looking at a screen. I'm just watching like golf on TV, <laughs> but, yeah. uh, um, you know that like I think the games changed. Uh -huh. I don't think you get as much micro as you did in the past. Yeah. Um. But I know during our era, my coach really liked to call a lot of plays For every sure. day. And in so like when we coach now and our kids in in youth sports, it's it's don't be a robot. I wonder if don't the run managing, to a spot play yeah, but has the managing transition to different parts of the game. You know what I mean? Maybe like the in game stuff isn't as much, but now they manage your diet, your workout, oh, for sure. your bot measure your body fat. Well, you're also talking about millions of dollars at stake yeah, for yeah. everybody involved. Exactly. That's a different ball it game, is. man. Yeah. That's well, a different ball game. It's some of that too because he 
Brady has a Chris Jackson who obviously would be a standout, like a special. So he's like, maybe I don't know what to do with this type of. Uh, <laughs> you yeah, see no that kidding. all the time. An evolutionary player too, just right. different for that. People time don't period. know how to handle special talents in right. all walks of life mm. because they don't live by any of the rules that the rest of us do. It's 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 a phenomenon. Just a guy who is who is different too. Like he, his ability to shoot was not that was not a common I, thing. I like feel his, like we got cheated in the in the ninety nine classic that we chose to watch because he did not he did shoot the ball not well. Not as good in that game. And yeah. so we need to get another. Let's do it. Another uh, Chris I, Jackson. I'm in. I was even LSU reading about game. his like high school coach. He'd hit like 285 free throws in a row. They used to do a free throw contest, and he was like, "I can't do that with the yeah. team. Like, yeah, we yeah. got, we got to quit." Yeah, but Shaq was the real draw to those shorts no too, doubt. though. And and we love picking up Chris Jackson on that, and we get Chris Jackson on the shirt, which we're going to talk about too. But I love um, it. The, uh, the yellow, we went with yellow to kind of offset the purple. Um, these are more plain, but these are a perfect, like, 90s style, man. Um, and a little bit of a different tiger with the with the logo at the bottom, too. Okay. And so you're doing, but you're, the pro, is the process the same where you're looking at, looking through these photos, looking for, trying to match it up from the games? Was it easier in 92? It's not that much later. Yeah, these are, you know, obviously they're more simplistic and it's just taking the same tiger file that we had. Um, he's facing forward on both sides of the shorts and adding the LSU um, like branding that. below him. And then, you know, even with the striping at the bottom and on the waistband, I'm trying to perfectly mimic the variation between how much yellow versus white versus purple to get <laughs> oh, wow. it to look as so close. Like, go, look to at the ratio. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Got to do it. Got to get as close as possible. And every team, they might have shorts that look exactly like this style wise, but they'll vary the balance between oh, man, the stripes like the piping and, on there, and yeah. I'm always trying to, you know, we got to match that up. Are you using get tricks right. to do that? Or are you just getting close enough where you think you're getting, you're getting pretty close on it. You mean, you know, a waistband can only be so thick. Yeah. And a lot of times, you know, it's, they're divided perfectly. Proportionally. Proportionally yeah. in yeah. thirds. Um, and I just, you know, you just kind of eyeball it. I mean, I have an artist eye and just I love, I love, I mean, it, it, that, that stuff matters. Like it really does. That's the type, that type of composition. Well, and stuff. whoever, you know, designed the shorts to begin with, they did that on purpose. Yep. And, you know, and I'm trying to mimic that and, and recreate that, you know, because we're telling the story. Give them, part of it. Give them their, sh their shout outs. Most definitely. Most definitely. Fine. All right, we're on to uh, what are we on to next? Pistol Pete, you ready for? Uh, yeah, let's do the, the pistol. pistol Pete. Right. This is like a favorite right, of ours. I got a, I got another uh, uh, soundtrack for you guys. So we're gonna talk about this is a, when uh, Pistol hits or breaks the college scoring record. I've seen a lot of hysteria at football and basketball games, but nothing like that. The night Pete Maravich set the all-time career scoring record. is so wild like listening to the difference in just the way people speak and the the two articles too the the thing i, I reading the si article on Maravich, you could tell that most people had probably never seen him before uh because they spend a lot of the article just describing what he looks like like the way he parts his hair and they have to yeah right? they I have know. to because it's, he's not easily accessible yeah, you're not watching on him on tv or you're not he's not uh, doesn't have his own instagram account with four million <laughs> followers how dope would it be if they just did some old game or did like new games with that old style radio <laughs> voice and stuff like that was awesome yeah and then like that chant pete 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 at yep. the, we do the same thing for ej when he comes here every day <laughs> every day for work as he's packing orders <laughs> we, we get it going no wonder you guys get everything out barging in the door 
My, my year. <laughs> yeah. Meyer just walks in like he owns it now. He doesn't even. VI, he, VIP he, entrance. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep that on the Goes and gets a drink. So, doesn't even say hi. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we had to recognize Pistol Pete, right, in the yep. in the opening collection. And, and this isn't the end all be all for our LSU stuff. We'll continue to build on it like we always do with our schools. But, um, Pete, Pistol Pete Maravich had to be a part in some way of the initial launch because he might, my apologies to Lou L. Cinder, be the greatest college basketball player of all time. Wow. Bold statement. 41, 44, 41 points per game without a three point line. Yeah. Amazing. And a lot of his shots, they're, they're talking about it. Like you could even hear in the audio clip, t- he takes a 28 footer, 28 footer. Like, that seems crazy. Like with no three point line, he's just after he up. just missed. I think they said a twenty eight footer, and he had missed five in a row. And right. then he just comes back down, and pulls up from twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> the, guy, the guys were on on board, like the all the other players on on his team. I forget who who someone in the article had played with another uh, all time all time great, and he was just like, well, this is what it is. Like if we're gonna win. Um, you know, we, he's got to shoot like 30 times, 35 times a game. Like that, if we're going to win the ball game. Yeah. So we did the shirt, right? We did a, a player, uh, Jersey shirt and we had to do it in white. Cause we thought that the, the purple and yellow and stands out. So perfect pops on that thing. Yep. Um, and, uh, so he joins 23, huh? he joins our two others, mm-hmm. which are Matt bird. Bird. And Dr. J. Dr. J. Oh, yeah. That's pretty solid. Elite. Three jersey shirts to I have. Know. That's elite company. It is. So we found a photo of a game-worn jersey of his oh, that nice. is a pretty high resolution that I'd try to mimic the perfect scale of the letters to numbers ratio and all that and get it on here as legit as we can to what his actual jersey looked like. So I love that. Cool shirt. He is he's absolutely one of the best n- nicknames of all time, too. The Pistol. Like just coming out. He's got a dope uh, basketball camp shirt on eBay. That's like him. Like it's like a pistol with a gun getting or oh, a ball nice. getting shot out of it. Did you watch? Did Not you watch? Home, did you watch homework? But. Homework basketball growing up? Did you ever see his like set of videos that he did? I have seen those. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't like watch him religiously. Yeah. Like I weird felt, though. That, that felt like cheating on Steve Alfred. That was a weird thing though too. Like that he did that back back then. I mean back in the day just put those out that just seemed like a way ahead of its time to be like that focused on skills and fundamentals and even like higher level trick stuff they call them like mm-hmm. trick skills with the ball um but yeah because well, he was playing a different game he was he's was playing a that different seems game. to be a theme you know with the lsu players even with Shaq, you know he's just different just type a of different thing. animal different kind different of dude. dude man just yeah. a just a beast no doubt about it the socks the socks, the style overall yeah. for for uh, Pistol P. Yeah, so we we were super pumped to get that shirt and get that added. Um, I think now is the time to give a shout out to Brian at LSU too for helping us on this. It's uh, uh, LSU's licensing director, great dude. Just talked to him a couple times through emails, but I know our our licensing director has talked to him multiple times, and he's been super receptive to all of this stuff. He's let us kind of do our thing. He's recognized ninety nine for what we are and what we do, and it's always awesome to work with a school and an LD that will step to the side and be like, take this and run with it. You know, <laughs> like that's, that's awesome. That, that, and we greatly appreciate it. That maybe goes with their, their kind of thing. They seem like a, a, a team that will, is willing to go out on a limb with some players and it comes together because of the, the culture that, that surrounds it and the, the, the type of environment that they put the guys in. Should we, should we tell them that we have practice shorts Ooh. Coming out too, Man. just did. Man. <laughs> Man. The practice shorts are dope. They're just like classic '90s design. So we is this going to be on the the going to be on the uh, the same ones that I that I have the mock-ups of, not the LSU ones. Yes, but the, that same yes. material. Oh, man. Lots of teams Heavy. coming. And then Love we got some, we got something else in store too, but we got to keep that one man, under wraps. That, that's I'll too, tell you what, that's too <laughs> big a news. Breaking, breaking news for the first time ever. Absolutely. <laughs> they, well, this forum allows us to do that a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love um, it because we're just sitting here kind of plugging our stuff, so we might as well plug away. No doubt. What else you guys got? You got anything else? <laughs> well, we got the Chris Jackson shirt. We had to yeah. do it in purple. That's the one that he was wearing on the um, cover of Sports Illustrated, and uh, hopefully we can go back and get that jacket in some kind of collab at some point too that he's wearing in there too because it's dope but um yeah we had to go with the purple because we cannot find a great yellow blended shirt these days so that was uh our take on it i love it 
I thought, yeah, That's I thought sick. it was. I thought it was yellow for some reason, but the, well, the purple it, looks on great. the Sports Illustrated. It is. That's why. But we have a we have a really good heathered purple shirt that we wanted to use, and we could not find a good yellow. Yellow in yeah. a in a it's premium. A, sometimes too yellow looks better, like when it's not on you, and then not not so great when 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 you're wearing it purple much better exactly yeah and let's just be honest this kind of muted heather purple it'll probably just be nicer more people yeah. will go after it i think yeah, true 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 no doubt about it what else anything else i know that i wanted to plug too if people are interested we do have already more content you mentioned the 199 classic lsu versus loyola marymount both those teams unbelievable to watch we'll find a chris jackson one later i want to i want to watch one of those and watch one of these like 50 point explosions yeah, sure. that he had um but we talked a little bit about Shaq and building your college dream team on the blog uh and on the best college uh basketball players ever yeah, for lsu's sure. been sprinkled throughout our history they, here definitely at they've been on, they've been a target for you guys for a for while sure. i know we've been for talking sure. about them for a long time yeah, see, see. The Louisiana. SEC. Come yeah. on, Meyer. Get SEC. SEC. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is dope, man. Like, yeah. I, I'm super pumped. Like, this has been a dream of mine for a long time. Um, not to just to get into the SEC, but get LSU. Um, hopefully, we can build on that, get some more teams. And then also this podcast, getting you guys on here together and doing this and breaking down the. I just love things. diving deep into and, some, and of, some of it. You know, like when we when we go back and do Villanova, because we'll go back and get some of our old schools, too. Yep. Um, Brian Vogel's design on the Villanovas or the St. John's and stuff is so much more intricate. Oh my gosh. I bet, I bet like the, doing that skyline, you had to been some sleepless nights on that. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so it, that'll be uh, super fun. And then our new product categories that are coming too, we can do a, an entire rundown of, of the product categories when those launch too. So uh, big things coming in uh, the end of 2020 here. So uh, right. appreciate you guys. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya. Thanks. Thank you for listening to the 199 podcast with HVS, the high volume shooters. For more information, check out the blog at 199.com under HVS. And while you're there, do yourself a favor and pick up some retro college shorts. Till next time.